Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is a learning video where we are going to solve a complex challenge you know, that is expected from you if you are facing your L2 levels or L3 levels in big MNCs. So you know, what is expected is like you can see on my screen for the selected year, I want to see the percentage change. User will have the flexibility to choose whatever he has with respect to our current period. Like say, if I'm selecting prior year, it is with respect to prior year. If I'm selecting two years, again, it is with respect to the second year or third year. So now let us try to identify what all we need from here. So first thing is we need a parameter to choose the year, right? And then we need to find out our latest year first. And then based on the parameter selected, we need to go to that particular year and find a sales. Once you get this, I think from there it is a straightforward. Now first let us, you know, calculate these three values and we will go. So for that, I'm just going to a sample superstore connected to our, uh, connecting to our sample superstore. I'm trying to build my view, like in the view. So what all we have here, we have category and we have region. The so same thing I'm trying to take here, okay. Uh, I am taking category and I'm taking a region. All right now what we need, we need to create a parameter. Okay, so I'm creating a parameter called as select year maybe. Okay, I'm taking integer value here and I'm taking list of value, but I'm taking minus one, minus two, minus three. So what this will do is it, it will help us in going back to the number of time periods that I'm specifying. So I'll write it right here as displaying it as prior year 2 year 2 years ago, likewise, three years ago. Okay, our parameter is set. Now user will have the option to select this, but I will be giving him only radio button option here, which means one, he can select at a time. Now, basing on this value, he should go. Like say, if I selecting prior year, it should be with respect to prior, prior year. Two years, two years, three years, three years. Now, first thing is this should be, our sales should always be with respect to the latest year or the max year. So what I'm trying to do is trying to find out the maximum year or the latest year, or you can consider it as a year or current year. So for that, I'm writing uh, the calculation as current year, okay? So simply to get that, I'm using max of my year of my order data, okay? So if you remember, unlike you know, our previous calculations, we are not using today function to find out the current date. Okay, I'm just going with my database date and whatever the latest year is there in that, it will be treated as the maximum year. Okay, so that is one way of deriving the current year in your uh, database or you know, the report that you are working in. So if, with respect to this, if you see whatever the year is there, that we will get. Now I'm trying to find out the sales for our current year sales. So I'm writing as current year sales, okay? If our year of order date is equal to what our current year, simple, right? Then give me sales and I'm ending it, okay? So click on apply, okay? So we got sales for our current year, perfect. So we got this, okay? Now we need to find out our prior year sales, two years ago sales or three years ago sales, right? So first we need to get, get to that level. We need to make it dynamic because we cannot create three calculations. Obviously that would be another approach where you can create independent thing. 
but we want to make it dynamic so what i am doing is trying to find out the year so i'm writing a calculation here as comparison year so what i'm doing our current year plus whatever the year that user is selecting now what will happen if i do this what is our current year like say here if we check 2024 right 2024 is our current year now with respect to prior year means what what is the value that we have here in this we have minus one as the value now what will come here it will be minus one so what will happen end of the result 2023 which means technically we will go we are going back to our prior year likewise if i select two years ago we will get minus two here and this will be 2022 right so i'm making it dynamic here so this point you need to understand how we are trying to derive so once we do that we need to find out the sales for that right so i'm just writing another calculation comparison year sales right if my order date year of order date is equal to what our comparison year because this is the field where we are calculating our dynamic time period right then what do we need then we need sales and i'm ending it simple okay click on apply okay okay so we got it now let us go to our requirement here so we wanted this parameter we created this parameter now if i select the prior year we are getting sales with respect to prior year you can ignore you know whatever the values are there here just focus on uh, what we need this is based on our older uh, data set here okay so prior year we have two years ago we have three years ago we have now latest year value we got now we need to get the values right we need to find out the change in percentage so what we can do uh let us name this as a uh, change in values okay um our current year sales minus our uh, comparison year sales divided by comparison year sales into 100 i'm just trying to find out the growth let us check the values here okay yeah some of so we can write it as uh, current year versus comparison year sales okay so i'm writing directly we can sum here itself sum of current year sales minus sum of comparison year sales So I'm closing the bracket here. I'm writing all A minus B in a single bracket here. Divided by comparison year sales. Again, it would be uh, sum here. into 100 you can write or you cannot write that should shouldn't be a problem okay so we can also remove this later we can convert that into percentage as well so we will get the values in percentage if i try to drop it here we are getting some value right so i just we can go here quick table calculation and we can 
or we can click on format here instead of numbers i want in percentage so we got this okay now we got the values so i'm just removing this for now and uh, we can simply write it something like this here i'm going to label okay and i'm just making this bold i can do it 15 or whatever the number we want and this is our actual value and uh, and then i can insert my select year here so apply okay so i'll just add my uh, select here on to my label okay I'm just trying to customize this i'll just put it here okay so we got almost this but what i want now is i want negative and positive numbers okay if it is negative it should be red in color if it is positive it should be green in color so what i am trying to do is so this is our uh, what is the calculation we have if our current year sales versus comparison year sales is less than 0 then uh, maybe i can write it something like this or we can let us check this is less than 0 then i will write it as negative else positive okay and then maybe i can write drop it on color shelf okay we are getting the number here so this is one way where we are showing this so if you observe here for negatives we are getting blue for positives we are getting this one this is way where your numbers are you are highlighting number we don't want our number we want only percentage to be changed so for that uh, we can split this into two parts one is negative numbers and positive numbers and we can add it into the view so i'm writing negative sales if our uh, comparison year sales or if our uh, if latest where did that field go one second so this field i want okay current year versus comparison year sales okay so you can simply drag and drop like this is less than zero then current year versus comparison sales and okay so click on apply okay same likewise i'm just duplicating this and i am converting it into positive that's it i'm just trying to split my values here nothing else okay so don't get confused here i'm for positive values i'm just positive and negative values i'm trying to split that's it now what will happen technically we will get same values but in two different sales so now what i will do is i will just add this negative and positive to my label so i'll go and add the negative sales and uh, positive sales as well i will add now all we need to do is we need to customize our calculation that's it okay so 
I will remove my current year and comparison sales because we don't need it now. Negative here, I'll put it first. And positive sales, I'll put it next. Okay. But here for negative, because I want in red color to be highlighted, maybe I can select that and make it bold. Likewise, positive, I want that to be in green. I am just selecting green. Okay. And again, making it bold. Okay. So click on apply and okay. There you go. Okay, so you can again make this numbers format and change it to percentage. You should be able to solve so this way. You can create an advanced calculation or advanced view in your dashboards and show whatever the user needs. Now, based on our selected here, it is showing. Now, always remember this is with respect to your current year calculations, not with anything. So it is take current year versus prior year, current year versus your last second year, not last two years. It is last second year, likewise last three years. Okay, so this way you can calculate. I hope this has helped you. If it does, don't forget to share your valuable feedback and see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.